Do you believe in participation awards? Cargo shorts on the golf course? For iron covers? If you believe in those things, this shoe probably isn't for you. This shoe is for the rainmakers, the club champions, the member guest legends. This shoe is all about being first, not last. This is the Curator Ringer by Travis Mackey. I'm Ryan, and I've got a shoe problem. This is the Curator Ringer. I have to be honest, I'm really excited about this. Uh, I actually had a chance to talk with these guys way back. I feel like, man, COVID's changed everything. But it was probably the PGA show in Las Vegas two years ago when they were beginning to do the launch in the partnership with Travis Matthew. These Curator shoes are going to be really rock solid. I haven't had a chance to see them yet. um, So you're experiencing this the first time that I am. Uh, I'm pretty excited. Let's open the box and see what we've got. So this is the Curator Ringer golf shoe. Right out of the gate, this thing just looks awesome. Let me get that out of here. So they're going to tell us this has performance, comfort, and design. Probably pretty cool. Let's see what we got in here. Okay. As I said before, and if you know me, you know I have a major shoe problem. I've never seen a pair of shoes, though, ever cut molded out of EVA mid-foam into a box. This is a new one for me, and i got to be honest, it's pretty ball. If you like to store your shoes or you think that the presentation makes the shoe or at least enhances the experience, this is going to be a shoe you're going to want to test out. The rain, the Rainmaker, uh, really in this this case, sorry, sorry, the Ringer, I'm calling it the Rainmaker now. Uh, The Ringer is one of their top end shoes. Um, I want to say the price is around $199, but I don't remember. It's a couple hundred bucks. Fully spiked shoe, lightweight, waterproof. one of the cool things that they're going to have when inside all of their line is a new memory foam insole. Um, it's pretty crazy, actually. If you push inside there like this, it actually holds where your where your thumbprint was for a bit. So you can tell the foam's pretty dense. Um, looks pretty solid. Let's get them both out of here. I just can't believe they cut foam to put these shoes out here. I mean, look at that. I would love. I, I would store other shoes in that box. I mean, you can put all kinds of things in this box. In fact, a uh, little side note on this one. They put on the back, this is great. What the box is good for, grandma's birthday cards, your pet rock, all kinds of fun things. The winnings from your poker games. I mean, if you're good at poker, this is the great place to keep your money. Hopefully your wife won't see it. She probably won't if she's anything like mine because you got too many boxes in your house. All right. These two shoes, um, specifically q was coming into the market. They wanted to do something that was classic but also um, with a lot of modern technology. So they felt like lighter was getting more popular. They felt like uh, classic stylings were gonna, be, were gonna re- remain a, a stay for them going forward. And Travis Matthew as a brand is very much about that, right? They're, they're wearable golf attire. You can wear them you know, to the bar, you can wear their, their clothes anywhere, and their shoes should be no different. So what's interesting and something that I like right out of the gate, a lot of the companies that try and pitch that tend to pitch soft spikes only, and they don't have real spikes in their shoes. I hate that. Huge pet peeve for me. If you're going to game a shoe and you're going to play in it, very few people in very few climates are going to be comfortable with a soft spike shoe all the time. So it would be nice to be able to have both. These guys provided that. So you got strong spikes if you want to take the, the soft spikes out in the the kind of firmer, more uh, more aggressive spikes, you can take them out. If you wanted to, you can take those out, still have plenty of traction. It'd be, it'd be awesome either way. But in general, most people are going to leave the spikes in on this. It's very lightweight. They look super comfortable. Um, I've tried on two different pair, um, not this exact model. I've tried on the Tour version. Um, I tried on this model when it was in beta, and honestly, it looks a little different. So the original model didn't have these uh, the, the spikes on it. It was all soft. Um, in addition, it didn't have this inside. So when I look at shoes, I really want to know what the heel cup's like because that's going to help you understand how comfortable it is. These look like they got a lot of grip. Um, it's not going to rub. A lot of the shoes today um, from different companies have a lot of leather in them, and that can create blisters right out of the gate and make it a little hard to break them in. This doesn't have that at all. Pretty excited about it. Um, some more information they provide, Ortholite technology, you're going to see that more often than not. One of the cool things about Ortholite is if you're uh, somebody who likes to wear shoes with thin socks or anything like that, and your feet may sweat, it's kind of gross to talk about foot sweat, 
didn't think I'd say that today. Um, but if you do have foot sweat, uh, what's cool about Ortholite, Ortholite will, will take that and will wick it away. Um, it's something that you can actually clean and wash off. Most people don't think about that, but when you have shoes that you're playing golf in, take your insoles out, clean them. Um, it's a great way to, to make your shoes last longer and not have foot, foot funk when you come home and uh, your wife's like, hey, were you golfing all day? Oh, yes, I can tell because it smells like it. So anyway, um, glad that they put the Ortholite in here. It's not as common in golf shoes now um, as it used to be when it was a newer technology, but it's something that I really feel like should stay. So in general, great looking shoes. I'm excited to see how they perform. Um, uh, you know, like I said, if they're anything like the, like the Tours or some of the other versions they have, I think they have the Moneymaker, which I've tried. Um, they're gonna be awesome on the course. They look phenomenal. Very simple, they come in three or four different uh, classic colors. I think they have black, they've got a, like a sand color. They've got a white version as well. Um, they'll go anywhere, be versatile, good looking shoe. Check out the Q8 Ringer. If you're all about uh, being a rainmaker, winning those club championships, you want the grip, you want the technology, you also want it to look super classy because it'll give you the best of both worlds. Anyway, check them out for yourself. Bye.